The Sint Martin national football team is the football team of Sint Martin, the Dutch half of the Caribbean island of Saint Martin, and is controlled by the Sint Martin Soccer Association. Sint Martin is not a member of FIFA, and therefore is not eligible to enter the World Cup. However, the association plans to apply for FIFA membership in 2016. In 2002, the Sint Martin Soccer Association was given associate membership in CONCACAF and became full members at the 28 Ordinary Congress in April 2013 after becoming an independent country of the Kingdom of the Netherlands after the Netherland Antilles was dissolved in 2010. They are also members of the Caribbean Football Union and first took part in the Caribbean Cup in its inaugural edition in 1989. History From 1992 to 2016, the team had played approximately only 25 official matches. Between 2000 and 2016, only one match had been played, an unofficial 2-2 draw at home to St. Eustatius on 20 August 2004. In 2012, SMSA President Owen Nicky stated that the national team's inactivity was due to a lack of needed improvements on their home stadium. He indicated that not having enough players to choose from had also prevented the team from competing in the past but that they had more than enough players at that time. At that time, the association discussed hosting the Leeward Islands tournament and participating in 2012 Caribbean Cup qualification as two of its objectives for the year. Nicky described not entering a team in the Caribbean Cup in the past as unfortunate. In August 2014, St. Martin was set to co-host the Leeward Islands tournament which had been dormant at that time for over 10 years. However, the tournament was postponed after St. Martin withdrew as host because of difficulties with the newly installed lights at the Raoul Illage Sports Complex and Anguilla, the other host, withdrew for unspecified reasons. One report also indicated that the hosts withdrew because of an inability to facilitate teams. In May 2015, a match was organized by the SMSA as a showcase for selecting a national team player pool. It was open to all players with a Dutch passport. Although St. Martin's senior team was dormant, a youth selection participated in the inaugural CONCACAF Under-15 Championship in August 2013 and St. Martin co-hosted the 2015 CFU Boys Under-15 Championship after the 2015 CONCACAF Under-15 Championship was cancelled by CONCACAF for unspecified reasons. Topic: 2017 Caribbean Cup Sint Martin returned to international football in 2016, entering 2017 Caribbean Cup qualification and being drawn into Group 2 along with Grenada and the U.S. Virgin Islands with the first round matches taking place on 22 and 26 March 2016. Sint Martin had been absent from senior CFU competition for 19 years as they entered the tournament. In January 2016 it was announced that St. Martin's squad for 2017 Caribbean Cup qualification would be composed solely of players from Flames United SC, reigning champions from the 2014-2015 Senior League competitions and the champions of the 2012-2013 Excellence Division between the islands of St. Martin, St. Martin and St. Barthes. However, shortly thereafter it was reported that the previous report was inaccurate and that Flames United would actually be competing in the CFU Club Championship. St. Martin played its first senior men's international in 12 years on 13 March 2016 as it hosted a 2-0 home victory against Anguilla as part of each side's preparation for 2017 Caribbean Cup qualification. Both of St. Martin's goals were scored by Joost Robin. In the first match of the tournament, St. Martin held Granada to a scoreless draw in the first half which saw two of St. Martin's starters sustain injuries. It was later revealed that Raymond Wolf had sustained a broken rib before coming off in the first half while fellow Dutchman Rick de Poonder was credited with an own goal. Granada scored five goals in the second half to secure the 5-0 victory. St. Martin arrived on Granada for the 8 p.m. match at 4 p.m. after the funds for the team airfare, paid for by the CFU, did not reach the airline in time and no seats were available. SMSA President Johnny Singh thought that the team would not be able to compete but another flight was arranged in time. The same scenario occurred for the return flight but the team was expected to be home on the Thursday prior to the team's match against USVI on Saturday. St. Martin went on to lose the match to USVI 1-2, ending the team's qualifying campaign. 
Sint Martin's only goal was scored by Ramsley Bolain. Topic: <laughs> Stadium Sint Martin plays its home matches at the Raoul Illich Sports Complex in Philipsburg. The stadium has a capacity of 3,000 spectators. It is named after Raoul Illich, a local philanthropist who laid the groundwork and covered many expenses in the planning of the stadium as part of his support for sport and culture on the island. Unsolicited, he contributed nearly 800,000 guilders for the project. After falling into disrepair, the complex was temporarily closed for renovation in July 2013. The two-part renovation included installation of a new running track, drainage system, and artificial turf, repainting of lighting poles and installation of new, brighter lights, in addition to a renovation of the complex's buildings. The renovation costs were financed by the Dutch funding agency Yasona and the St. Martin government. The International Sports Park was official reopened with a ribbon-cutting ceremony by Prime Minister Sarah Westcott Williams and Minister of Education, Culture, Youth and Sports Affairs Patricia Lawrence Phillip on the 7th of March 2014. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Competition history. Topic: <laughs> CONCACAF Gold Cup St. Martin never reached the CONCACAF Gold Cup, but played in the qualifications in for the 1993, 1996 and 1998 Gold Cups. Caribbean Cup Fixtures and results Topic Current squad The following players were called up for the CONCACAF Nations League qualifying match against Dominica on the twentieth of november twenty eighteen. Caps and goals as of the twentieth of november twenty eighteen after the game against Dominica. Topic. Recent call-ups All-time record As of 9 November 2018 Footnotes <laughs>